really gonna have to deal with a dog barking in this session. What's up? How you guys doing? We've shown up at the first spot and this looks very promising. I know my friends have skated here before. I know there's also a no skateboarding sign right there, which I just saw, but it looks good and I can't wait to get in on this. And also, you probably clicked this video seeing a title that's kind of controversial. I promise I can explain. It's not as weird as it sounds. Before I explain too much, I wanna get a session in so that we can kind of use what I do as sort of an explanation for where I'm trying to go with this video. Super, super fun, but I noticed this ledge here that was previously attempted to be waxed. It looks pretty sticky at this point, but let's get to work. Whoa, okay, I think it goes. I want to combine them. I want to do the back tail to manual and then something down the force there. So like something that I'm like proud of. One good clip, one solid clip right now. So on the topic of skateboarding and athleticism, the truth is skateboarders are not athletic by definition, but they are athletes and I, I can explain explain yeah so here's the difference definition of athlete a person who is proficient in sports and other forms of physical exercise yes a skateboarder is proficient in skateboarding which is a physical exercise but here is the definition of athletic physically strong fit and active and the truth is you don't need to be strong fit you have to be active you don't need to be two of those things to be a skateboarder now why even bring this up it sounds like i'm being pedantic talking about things that really don't matter but the, the, the reason is because there is a strong connection with skateboarding and sports recently and there's also a lot of attention on well skateboarders need the, to be these proficient athletes to be good at skateboarding and that's just not the case at all it's more of a technical skill you acquire from doing it than something that you can practice by being stronger and bigger and better let's take a look at the olympics do you think the people who won first second Second and third are the strongest athletes? No, in skateboarding, it's an 18 year old kid, 19 year old kid. In the girls division, all the people who won the streets were literally children. There was like a 12 year old, a 13 year old, maybe a 16 year old. And these are not the strongest athletes in their division at all. There is much older women and men doing this competition who are stronger. It's something I think about a lot because it's never the appeal when I was younger to be like, I want to be the strongest athletes. Let's do skateboarding. But nowadays it actually is a thing. You can be a competitive skateboarder. And I watch day in the lives of these like Red Bull skateboard athletes and they do things like train. And it's funny because it's cool. They want to be athletic and I want to be athletic. I do the same thing. I train all the time in different ways. You don't have to do that to be good at skateboarding. The truth is most people who do work out and try to train, just try to make sure they're still healthy as they get older so older people like me get interested in training like an athlete so that we can skateboard longer because it does kind of just wear at you not in a positive way pretty much like every sport every sport's bad for you essentially i mean it kind of wears and tears your body it's not it, who cares though you know i think life is about pushing the elements of physicality and and just anything and, and pushing the boundaries and luckily there are things like skateboarding and sports that do things like that Ooh. 
just saying if you're interested in skateboarding just get into it it's the technical aspect go out there start skating ride around and let us you i me now get back into the session that we were having because that school is a banger found a somewhat scary gap over this wall down there as long as the run-up is clear oh first try maybe try to give it a, a one bang You could also string together some pretty cool lines, I feel like. Like slide this, don't push, and just ollie over the ball. Ball, that's what I just said. Let's try tail slide first, the most obvious one. It's kind of I'm standing on a piss stain. the proper angle right there <laughs> that looks good maybe i could do a tail slide and then a front 180 and i feel like that would be that'd be tough but it would be cool let's just go for the 180 first try no bailing i actually like that this is making like a squeak sound makes it a little more street bro first try we're gonna do this tail slide front 180 okay right here A little tricky riding off switch and then trying to set up quick. I know I'm just doing a kickflip, but it doesn't feel too bad. I'm getting used to it, so I kind of have to like bail a couple to feel it out. There we go. I couldn't help but notice that this is like a perfect metal ledge. It's a little awkward to get to, but it would be cool to do like one stringed line, like grind, drop off, trick down. Let's see if I can even 50-50 at first. Yeah, let's do 50-50, drop down, pop shove it. Trick I need to do more often anyways. It's hard to get speed like that. So I need to go like almost twice as fast and not hit my shin on this on the way. Oh, I figured out the problem. I'm landing directly in this crack, so I gotta be weary of that. I do like that, but I feel like we could level it up. What if we did 5-0, ride down, and then backslide 180 kickflip? The scariest part seems to be like going fast and just trying to 5-0 this at that speed. Feels a little sketch. Okay. We can do 5-0. Short run up at this school, huh? Okay, fast 5-0. Let's go for it. A little awkward with the tree and stuff, but we got this. Oh, it's crammed in here. We got this though. This is actually really fun. I'm like excited. 5-0, drop down, backside flip, and we'll go for 100% right here. Dude, I hate- this crack is not fun, dude. It always jolts me a bit. Oh my God, the crack finally got me. Mmm, that got me good. Dude, that hurts so bad. It hits so many parts of my body. My fucking head hurts. I didn't even hit my head. I just like leaned my neck awkwardly when I was flipping. Oh, my head, oh. Dude, all of this is like, fuck, dude, that hurt. I feel like it wasn't that bad, but it like really, really rattled every part of my brain. I'm not gonna try that again. Because, of course, the problem with the spot isn't on me. It's a little crack right when you land the 5-0. And every other try, I've kind of, like, survived it. Even though I could feel it, it was like, uh, that try, it was like, you know what? We're just gonna... 
small penis syndrome everywhere. Uh, yeah, it, it, that time it got me. So I sat down for a bit, I'm feeling a little bit better, and I think I might be able to keep skating a little bit because right here is the path that most people skate when they come to the school. They go right here, and then they kind of launch out and over this three stair type thing. It's fairly small, but it is cool just because of the way it looks. So maybe we can get a couple things, maybe, 10 tricks. Why do I always do 10? Just feels like a good number. Let's do another one. And just like that, I think we are finished. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun doing my skateboarding thing. I've been having so much fun. And it's weird, because sometimes I'm like, am I skateboarding too much? Am I like hurting my body? Then I'm like, dude, uh, you're basically just editing anytime you're not skateboarding. So you, you can use all the skateboarding you need. Plus, I am interested in being more of an athletic human being. Wow, that's so topical. And I do want to do more working out and more exercise. And honestly, I have reduced the things in my life that I do to like three things intentionally because I like just sticking to the things that I have a lot of fun doing, editing, skateboarding, etc., making videos, but adding a little splice of exercise here and there would be such a nice taste. And I feel like if I could just keep up the mellowness, you know, once in a while drop some merchandise, try to take it easy while at the same time working 12 hours a day on the things that you love, I think I'll be content. So I'm gonna try to stick with that and I'll see you next time every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for a brand new video on this channel, a long video just like this one. And then every other day I'm uploading a short. So subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.